What is going on, you guys? This is Eric Cuts for the win, and this is going to be my first impressions for Horizon Zero Dawn. I just played about two and a half hours. I'm taking a break. I figured I might as well give you guys my first thoughts and what I think about this game. And right off the bat, the first thing that hits me in the face as soon as this game starts is how freaking gorgeous it is. I'm playing on a regular PS4 with just an HD TV, no 4K or anything like that. I could just imagine, you guys, if you have that set up with the Pro, I could just imagine because with the regular PS4, that first uh, opening cinematic was, I mean, I'm going to show you guys that right now. It, it might be the best opening cinematic I've ever seen. I, I'd have to think about that for a while, but it was just beautiful. And the game starts off with that and gets you right into the story. And I want to talk about this story and how good it is. I'm not going to tell you guys what it's about, but I just want to let you know that it's very impressive. Um, almost as much as the graphics. It's, it's a good story. And Aloy, I was kind of concerned about her going in. I was thinking, you know, maybe she wasn't going to uh, make an impact on me. Maybe she wasn't going to really stand out. I was kind of thinking, you know, maybe this story might suffer a little bit. I don't know. I didn't really know what to expect. And people were saying that the story is really good. So I went into this with some expectations and they were met and it went even beyond that. I feel like Aloy is, is a very good character. I could see her being in the running for like best character of the year. You know how they give those awards at the end of the year. I could see her winning that because she has a lot of heart. And I found myself actually getting teary-eyed a couple times because her facial expressions, like when she's hurt or upset, it really kind of tugged at my heartstrings. Like I believed it and I was feeling certain kinds of ways. Like I was actually getting kind of teary-eyed. There's this one part in the beginning, she's with some kids and they treat her differently because she's, she's seen as an outcast and they're not supposed to talk to her. It's like the law of the tribe or whatever. So um, they're really mean to her. And it was really sad because they were all gathering berries and they were giving the berries to this older woman and she was all happy accepting them. And then when Aloy did the same thing, she had this big uh, stack of berries and she was going to give them. They didn't, they didn't want to accept it from her and her face, like her facial expressions just got me and I felt really sad and bad for her. So I feel like... Aloy as a character, she's just done really well. And even though at times it's a little goofy when it comes to the character models, like they're kind of twitchy at times. You guys know that RPG style where it's just the characters when they talk and they have dialogue between each other, their eyeballs kind of move around a little bit, their head twitches and stuff like that. So when that happens, it kind of takes me out of the moment. That's kind of my only complaint when it comes to, you know, graphics, because it, it kind of takes me out of um, just noticing how beautiful the game is because I'll notice how bad the twitching is or you know the dialogue is kind of cheesy or it just it's kind of awkward at times that's kind of my only complaint but besides that when it comes to just the graphics and the characters and the story it's just done really well so far um, so I'm very impressed with that as far as the combat and the enemies I haven't really seen a lot of different enemies yet there's only been a couple it's been more so about like tutorials and stuff like that. There's been some human enemies that I've seen, um, but when it comes to the robots, uh, it's been cool. You know, we're, we're starting from scratch, really. There's not a lot of weapons that we have yet and stuff like that. So I'm kind of just getting in the groove coming from Neo to this game. I feel that I'm a little bit clunky. I don't think the game is clunky. I think it's me. I'm just sucking. <laughs> so I, I just need to play it more before I could really develop um, my thoughts about it. But so far, so good. But, you know, it's just basic right now. I just have a couple weapons. And yeah, I just feel like the more weapons I get, the more things I unlock, then I'll probably get more in the flow of things. Because when I played this game at PSX, I had everything. I had all the different arrows. I had all the different weapons and all the moves that I could do in the game. So yeah, it, it was like a more fulfilling experience. I just was in so much control. I could do what I wanted and I was confident about what I was doing. Right now, I don't really have anything in the, in the main game. So yeah, it's going to take some time for me to kind of, I guess, ease in 
to the combat, but so far, uh, so good. I, I, I do see what people are saying about the human enemies. I know that's kind of the complaint out there, that the human enemies aren't that great. Um, there's not a lot of combat to be had. It's very basic. I see what you guys are saying about that. I do feel the same way, but it's not like it's boring or anything like that. I think it's fine. It's more so about the robots anyways, I'm assuming, so time will tell. We'll see what happens uh, throughout the rest of the game, but for right now, it's it's feeling pretty good, and uh, yeah, so besides that, I'm trying to think what else I could really touch on. Uh, sound effects, music is all good. There's a photo mode for the game. I think all games should have this. I loved this in Shadow of Mordor. Um, that was something that I spent a lot of time doing, and for Horizon, I could see myself, you know, spending some time doing the same, just, you know, coming across really beautiful sceneries and taking pictures. I mean, that should be in every game, especially RPGs, definitely should be. So um, that's a cool feature. And, you know, the characters besides Aloy, let me just touch on that. There's another main kind of um, character that's in her life. He's really good. Um, and just the dynamic between them, it, you know, it makes you feel something. I, I feel like they really got the story down in terms of just emotion and getting that emotion across to the player because I'm really feeling it. And I don't know, maybe I'm in a certain kind of mood. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm sensitive today. I don't know. But uh, I just felt like I was really into the story and I'm already getting hooked. I want to know what happens next. And that's a good thing because that doesn't come every day when it comes to video games. We've played, we've played games that, you know, stories can be very forgettable and um, not the main focus. But I feel like with this game, so far, the story definitely is the main focus for me, and I want to know more. I want to see what's going to happen next, and that, to me, tells me I really like the story. So that's pretty much my first impression so far. That's what stuck out the most. Graphics and story, the top two right there, and I can't wait to play more. So if you guys have the game, let me know what you think about Horizon. Zero Dawn, are you loving this game? Are you um, enjoying it as much as I am in terms of just looking at the beautiful graphics and um, just enjoying the story? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will catch you in my next one. Until then, you guys take care. I'll talk to you later. Peace.